everyone, Sophia here, my great challenger. Welcome back to my channel. It is February 2024. This is my second episode in my Thrift With Me 2024 series. I said I was going to give you one video of Thrift With Me per month, the last Friday of the month, and I am starting right here in Bordentown, New Jersey at the Goodwill. I just finished a training um, in Trenton that was uh, very interesting. The culture of violence, um, the culture of violence and substance use disorders. Super interesting, but it's past four o'clock. I'm on my way home and I'm stopping at the Goodwill. I only do that once every two months or so but I do have more trainings coming up so you may see this Bordentown Goodwill again this month. What am I looking for? Same as usual vintage and antique stuff, interesting things, unique items to put in my Etsy shop Frenchy and Tubby where I sell or resell rather vintage finds. Let's get started. So this is the Bordentown Goodwill and you can see it's fairly large. I have my water with me, my phone. I use the Google image reversed for searching items when I'm unsure. And it looks like they refilled it quite nicely. It was a little empty last time I was here. Let's see what we can find. So this is the Hall Pottery uh, Planter. Um, I'm gonna leave it here. It's got too much damage. Too bad, because I like it. Oh, these are nice. These are very nice. Picking those pottery candlesticks. Wow, these are awesome. These are um, mid-century modern Rosenthal cats, iridescent cats. There's two of them and they are in great condition. Guess what? They're coming home with me and I can tell you they will find a new home real fast because I have cat collectors. Alright, so we're entering the wood section. Um, shelves, frames, baskets. That looks like melanin. So these are bookends and they are hand carved and vintage and guess what I am taking them. There's people who look for bookends all the time and then there's owl collectors so between cats and owls, oh yeah.
Look, I wasn't gonna take this, but it looks like they go together. They want too much and it's seriously dented. So I'll pass, but I'll put them together so that somebody knows that they are a match. Okay, this is a pottery barn. Look at these. Dented. Oh, that's nice. Too damaged. Uh-oh, that's the one I've been trying to get the whole set for, uh, that one is for me. So this is um, Poppy Trail California Ivy. The problem I have with it, while it's a nice set, um, the prices are all over the place. Some people are selling the balls for $6 or $35. Um, platters, you can find it 8 bucks or 35 bucks. It's all over the place, so I'm not touching it. Oh, that's interesting. What's this? Taking it supposedly this is where and this is Mikasa Park Lane. This is a biscuit jar. Very nice. I'm taking it.
first. Okay, so I don't usually do um, Disney stuff, but these are animated Mickey and Minnie, and they are vintage. Um, <laughs> they go online for about $150 each, so I am getting them. I don't know how I'm going to ship them, but we'll figure it out when we get there. And they're coming home with me. This store is the best. Can I just say that? Okay, I'm still in the Christmas. Um, we're moving on to fall. So this is kind of like the um, leftover section. It's right by the clothes. And uh, lo and behold, yes, vintage planters. Uh, very nice. I'm not sure who makes them. Might be Shawnee, but they're coming with me and I may keep them. Uh, oh darn it it's broken I think that's a Shoney from the 30s but it's broken all right let's see what's on the other side and I'm done Capa di Monte chip I don't want too much but what about these guys Alright, so I'm back inside um, at the house and let me tell you, this had to be one of the best haul ever. Uh, I'm telling you, the Bordentown Goodwill is awesome. Absolutely awesome. So next week, I'm actually going down to South River. So I'm going to stop at the Goodwill in East Brunswick and the 2nd Avenue Thrift Shop in Union. So to recap, I did get the... Um, Christmas platter and um, serving dish by Mikasa. This is porcelain. It's beautiful. The next one is this shawal. Apparently, it's uh, it's a thing. It's a baking dish to make um, muffins, and it's really heavy. I'm just saying, you know, it's really really heavy. Then, of course, the cats by Rosenthal. These are from um, I've seen different ones. A different listing some listing a 70s some listing our uh, mid-century modern they were supposed to have a twig with some flowers on it 
and you can see where there's a little bit of the glue that stayed right there i'll remove that they are in superb condition um it says made in taiwan at the bottom they're very light but they are so cute i think they're more 70s than they are um 50s 60s but i'll keep uh researching then there was those two candle holders that are uh, pottery there's no signature on them but they are really really cool and really beautifully made there's no wax residue uh in them so i don't know if they've been used but we don't care they're really cool uh these um i have fell in love with them i don't know what to tell you they are uh, hand carved Boucans need to be washed and waxed and polished. Really neat. Um, I think I found them online. Somebody else was selling them and I forgot the name, but they're really cool. Uh, this one here, oh boy, does it need to be polished. This is uh, solid brass. Uh, it's a vase. Some people are calling it Art Deco. Looks more like a 70s, 80s design to me, but whatever uh all right these two i'm convinced they are vintage there's some crazing on them fading patina um all there is is a number at the bottom the last time i've seen pots with numbers like this and nothing else they were made in germany in the 60s uh, so that would be west germany i'm still thinking about keeping them so if you don't see them <laughs> in the shop at any point in time it's because i kept them all right, next is the little Mikasa vase. So cute. This one is gorgeous. This is uh, pretty old, actually. This is Vara Crystal from um, West Germany. It's from um, the late 50s, early 60s. Really dirty, you see? Look at that. Really dirty. It's going to look great once it's cleaned out. This is a Mikasa Crystal Biscuit Jar. Uh, I forgot the name, but really neat. Another really dirty item that needs some serious cleaning is this Fenton Silver Crest. Then, um, I'm telling you, it was a great haul. <laughs> These are, they need to be polished. These are uh, Pottery Barn. I tried to see if there was a shorter and, um, you know, like a, a different size, but no. So you can use them either for um, tall taper candles or pillar candles so these are really neat too and of course we have the animatronics mickey and minnie they are from 1996 um i didn't put any battery in them but i will and at that point what i'll probably do is have a video so you can see them work but they're not the kind of stuff that i pick but i know that the collectibles and they are in really really good shape they're not dirty um the uh, candies are still wrapped i mean this is really cool hey guys uh so huh it's saturday the 17th of february i wanted to go to the thrift shop the uh first presbyterian thrift shop which is the one attached to my church in town they were supposed to reopen last week we got snowed in so they delayed it and guess what they were supposed to reopen today we got snowed in again we got another four inches worth of snow last night so willing hearts it is i'm going to willing hearts so let's see what they got at willing hearts for the shop and maybe for me but mostly for the shop uh these don't sell don't even bother anything that's like a collectible in a series they were made overseas this is nice um hummel maybe but ooh, i actually do like this all right no it was broken and repaired forget it um, yeah, you wonder what happened here. It must have been exploded or something. Anyway, I, I think maybe... I don't know. Bells, again, it's like one of those... You have to collect them. I think that... Too much. 
Stand going. Yes, I'm taking it. Ooh. Bohemian. They want too much. Ooh. Oh, all right. Let me put this down um, because I got to look at these. Oh man. 35, forget it. They want too much. 23 for this one. They want too much. That's not Vaseline. Okay, taking this. Oh, this is stunning. It was broken. Pretty. Ooh. Oh, 25 bucks, come on. Oh, that's gorgeous. KPM. All right, let me look at it. No, it was broken. Forget it. Barbara, I know you would have wanted it, but it was broken. All right, planters. Wool pocket. That could be vintage. Doesn't look it. Nope. This is something else. It's very damaged though. You see the gold. So I'll pass. I'll leave it until Tuesday. I could I could come in Tuesday and take it off. Alright, then we'll take it down. But I mean,
Look at that, 45 bucks for the entire Mikasa service. How about that? That's a good price. <gasps> 25 bucks, come on. This is really cool. Oh, look. I found paprika earlier. Let's put them together. There you go. This is really cool. I would totally buy it for myself, but 25 bucks and plus, I know I'll never use it, so somebody else can enjoy it. Butter crock. was a good haul that was a good haul that coffee set so kitsch i love it it's so kitsch um yeah so i did get a lot of stuff it's sold for the shop i i would have picked for myself the enamel 1950s pot but it would be on display i would absolutely never use it so i need to stop doing stuff like that so progress okay there's progress being made but I spoke to the lady and for those of you who are after the tea cups with the month on it the flower of the month she said she has a ton of them in the back and they're gonna come up uh, within the next two weeks so we're coming back next week <laughs> but I did get two um, so when I go home I'll show you what I got right now I gotta go to Home Depot get some wood for my kitchen project and let me see. Then I'm going to quilt for the rest of the day. I got to move the TV, do a bunch of stuff. And then tomorrow, Sunday, I'm going to start um, the kitchen again. All right. Well, actually, this is going to be uh, the last haul for the month of February because uh, it's going to be a short month. And uh, whatever I was able to do, I shared with you. So we're going to start with this fabulous i mean how else could i possibly describe this it is fabulous it's uh made in japan 1960s early 70s probably like 68 69 um i'm not sure the brand yet but look at this thing so it's a coffee set <laughs> with the coffee pot the sugar and the creamer and it said as is i don't know why because there's no broken pieces uh, the tray, the original tray, does have a couple of nicks and whatever, but pff, spray paint and that's it. This is fabulous. This is different, uh, Franciscan, you know, the, uh, um, and it's not old, uh, made in Portugal. Uh, they have the apple or the roses and this is the apple and it's a uh, watering can, uh, ceramic, really cool. You can use it as a planter or an actual um watering can piano babies anytime i see them i grab them uh, here's one this is actually a german one um i can't remember if it's kaiser i think possibly perfect condition just needs a little bit of cleaning she's really cute um i'll give you a whole history of piano babies when i reintroduce her to you this is a westmoreland uh you can see right here westmoreland it's actually different this is not pure white it's a uh, almond color um, I have to do a research on the pattern but it's beautiful melt glass super high quality Stangle pottery I had one of those in a different pattern that was uh, also for sale and sold on the shop um, Stangle pottery uh, it 
I can't read. Tissel, I think is the pattern. Some crazing, normal for its age, but really cool. This is more like a um, fruit bowl or a catch-all or asparagus. And then, oh, okay, I'm not going to lie, I'm struggling. I'm going to sell it, but I'm struggling, okay? This is actually quite rare. This is Nippon, uh, but not any Nippon. This is very sought after Nippon, Moriyama. You see the M? Okay, Moriyama Brothers eventually became Noritake. This is from, and I know that because I used to collect Nippon. This is from between 1908 and 1911. Um, and the pattern is Cleopatra's barge. You see Cleopatra's um, boat right there on the Nile with a lady on the shore with palm trees at sunset. It's beautiful. It's hand-painted, matte finish. Um, actually, those... The story is that they were made in the United States, shipped to Japan, and Japan did the uh, um, gold and um, painting on it. They are beautiful. And then those two, these are not flower of the month, but they are still Royal Albert. So we got this one, uh, Prairie Crocus. And then this one, which is Summertime Series. And it has a little bit of everything forget me not and other um prairie type flowers so that's the haul from willing hearts and that concludes the entire haul for the month of february so all of the items i just showed will be um featured in march and april in the shop um probably two or three per week plus the rest of the inventory as I'm going through it. So I hope you enjoy this. I know a lot of you enjoy going to the thrift shop with me. Um, starting Saturday, I am finally going back to the First Presbyterian. Hopefully they reopen this Saturday and we don't have any more snow. I'm hoping. So let's cross our finger that it's actually going to happen. I will see you next month. Thanks for watching. Bye.